What's going on, everybody? Today we're that's, playing that's more Rinko. That's all you get. That's all you get. What? That's all you get. Okay, goodbye, everyone. That's, no, that's I mean, all like, for the apparently. intro. <laughs> oh, okay. All I get is, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey! And then we start. All right, yeah, so play more rain code. Sorry, I guess this is still intro. Yeah, so you kind of just, like, I had a whole thing we established there, and you ruined it. Well, I, I like to recap. Sometimes I need a recap. I don't. <laughs> we're doing the mystery labyrinth. Last episode, we talked about a bunch of theories. And, and we're, we're going to talk, gonna about, talk them about them again, about them again. right no, now. No, we're not going to. Go watch the end of last episode if you want to hear him again. Yep. Uh, but yeah, Desahiko's absolutely in love with Shinigami. Look at his hand. And look at his what? He's thinking about groping her. No, he's playing the piano. That's the same four notes. No, you're wrong. It's going down. It's... Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> really? All right, I've made up my mind. I have no idea what this mystery labyrinth thing is. But you'll help? But before we get out of here, I'll get you to fall in love with me. Why are you looking at me while saying that? Hmm. If you decapitate yourself, then I would consider it. She probably would, too. Yeah. <laughs> that can be easily arranged. What happened to your face? No, it can't. Now, let's set off to unravel Why can't it? I have a sword. Labyrinth. Yeah, I can Our target is cut down that truth right there. On the truth. Right. This is the beginning of our battle for love. Jeez. I hope this works out. Uh, it's okay. I, I'm pretty confident in everything we said. Yeah, I don't with think With our theories and everything. There will not be a single thing they bring up that I do not have the answer for. I feel Call like we'll be able to get it pretty quick. I'm calling it right now. I'll immediately know this every time. This is the mystery labyrinth. Oh, talk about creepy. Hey. Unless... Why don't we just head back and grab something sweet? I don't know. It, it almost seems like... It could be another one of those things where it like leads you to the path. Like, down the path we're thinking. Yeah, it and does. It like shows the door and it's like, uh-oh. Is this actually right, though? It does seem a tad too obvious. Because sometimes, sometimes it's just one clue that you don't think of that doesn't add up. And it's like, well, hmm. you know. I prefer corpses and mysteries over sweets. Same. What, I mean, what? Hey! What? Hold on! <laughs> don't leave me behind! Yeah, I really wanted Karumi to be in here with By us, the though. By Yuma, there's something I gotta ask. <laughs> What's that, G? I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> Is it because I'm in love? Oh, right. They forget everything about the case. Right. Yeah. It's not love. It's the mystery labyrinth. It erased all your useful memories. Not that... Even though it didn't even have to erase his. Like, Halara knew the answer, so it would have been dumb. But he doesn't know anything, so it doesn't even no. make sense to erase his memories. When an outsider enters the mystery labyrinth... Walk forward, this makes me feel weird. Away. No, it's really loud when I walk forward. Oh. This isn't gonna mess up my brain, is it? Am I gonna be alright? Eh, you'll just have amnesia. What difference does it make? Your brain is already messed up. <laughs> Look how fast he's running. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Alright. Anyway... Are we at the exit yet? <laughs> Dude! We've walked like feet. 30 feet. We just got here. Oh, if only there was a brave, strong boy around. I would swap my master for him in a heartbeat. Hey, that's not true, is it? Huh? You can do that? All right! <laughs> now I'm getting pumped up! <laughs> All He's right, just going to get in the way. Off he goes. I wonder if he'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? He's just going to slow us down anyway. I love seeing Gabby so much. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like it when she's like oh, this. He's back. <laughs> We've got trouble, Yuma. There's something up ahead. Is it Martina, but she's really scary looking? Was it oh, a crab? Did it look like a tiny creature? No, it's a witch. Yeah, it's Martina. We're mm -hmm. just about to execute somebody. Witch with a gun? Uh, execute? Mysterious. <laughs> Let's take a look. You're going to ward it? Not running away? Seriously? What did you think the sword was for? Yeah. Oh, it's just decoration. <laughs> Makes me anxious when he's, like, just barely able to make it before the floor is finished mm. transforming. Yeah. I want to see some of the first mini games we did in the first mini, or Mystery Labyrinth. There was one where you, like, go on this, like, railroad thing. You gotta, like, choose the right path. That was probably maybe just all of them will have unique ones. Yeah, that was probably just because we were on a train already. 
That'd make a lot of sense. Because yeah. in the other one, we were in like a forest. That'd make a lot of sense, actually, if they all just have their own. Yeah. Now we're in the underworld. Over there. I want to be in the play. I think that'd be Ooh. cool if you could see like the world going on. Like you'd see Waruna like sword fighting people or something. Maybe we have to like act it out or something again. Be kind of cool. There, see? Damn, that witch is scary. Dang, she's hot. That's a mystery phantom. Their mysteries give in form that try to block us from reaching the truth. They appear in the form of someone. I like her like vibe. The investigation. Yeah, they all have that cool rainbow look. I meant more the like oh, under or backgrounds crosses that or whatever. Witch looks oh like yeah. A peacekeeper Martina. She's the one hiding the truth. You you didn't gather that already? <laughs> what is she doing over there? Just I shall now commence the execution. Don't do it. All criminals Don't do it, must man. be purified by the holy fire of darkness. I wonder what Martina would say to that. She'd be like, I look hot. <laughs> Where'd you buy these clothes? <laughs> oh, oh wait, that's no, Kurumi! Kurumi? <laughs> Fan service? Nice. Not really. So she's pinning the crime on the flat chested Ugo, then killing her to cover up the truth. Right. I really don't know where you get flat chested, but yeah. This is terrible. We have to save her. It's fake, dude. Just relax. Relax. This is the mystery labyrinth, remember? That's not actually her. But still, I can't leave her like this. <laughs> All right, chill. Yeah, intervene in this execution? Yeah? Anyone who defies the peacekeepers will suffer the same fate. I'm going to fight you. If I remember the controls, that is. Slash the words you say and then be like, you're wrong. She'll be like, no, I'm not wrong. <laughs> Ooh, we got a unique stage this time. I don't remember if it looked different the first, uh, like the Nailman case or not. I don't think it did. Oh, repel? Mystery phantoms sometimes hide the truth with a statement. Use repel in these situations to get to the center of it all. Okay, so we're throwing their words back in their face. Oh, God. Give me a better tutorial. I don't. I bet it's the one that says, it's You're okay who the culprit is. Or something like that. You're a detective. How do I... How get this out of here. Oh, I, I don't even get Didn't truth Ryan, or solution keys. You dare defy oh, me? I was trying to open up the menu. <laughs> it's clear who the culprit is. There, do that. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Like plane, does it hold it's up? What is showed in the tutorial? Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, it always shows the answers in the tutorial. Huh. Clear? That's impossible. You don't have any evidence. You're a fool to defy peacekeepers. Very well. Allow me to. Educate. Yeah, what's your evidence? I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. The truth. So the thing we're most likely going to no Probably. poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. But okay. Already apparent. No. The culprit must be Karumi. Prior to the performance, she switched. Get the these out of here. Time limit. Uh, time limit. Do for we that have one. the time limit? Yeah. Chemistry lab poison. Okay. Yeah, we could do that if the other one doesn't. That's what I thought for the record earlier, but I didn't say it because I was shy. At that Fair. Moment, she mixed in the poison to commit the crime. Or I could do this. No! Ooh, you wrong. Womp womp. Hmm? Assuming the flat chested Ugga was the killer, she would have mixed the poison in when switching out the wine. I mean, technically both work, but okay. But that was before the performance began. More than 45 minutes before the incident. I know. In that case... In that case, the poison, poison would have been able to kill anyone. anyone. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, first yeah, thing yeah. she says... Already apparent. No, it's a child. The culprit must be Karuma. <laughs> Worst joke I've ever heard. <laughs> I love those jokes. Oh, good, she good aim. The wine with the <laughs> there. No. It's not that one either. I was just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, they both reviewed it perfectly. The toxicity of the poison used in this crime is neutralized 30 minutes after being. It also wasn't in the bottle, air. stupid. But Karumi switched out the wine before. The we lost so began. much health to that Even stupid one. That's all right. We were so confident, like we'll get him immediately. Well, we'll know. But all the things we said made sense. Yeah, I know. But... It was just stupid. So even and then after a while, poison, 
By the time the incident, you forget what you've already tried. Yes, I was waiting for him to finish, but that's exactly it. Like yeah. you're like, okay, have I tried that or not? Or because you think of, okay, what makes the most sense? Isn't that the first thing I said though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which means Kurumi isn't the culprit. <laughs> All right, keep it in your pants, lady. Or at least above the skirt. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's got a a meat club. She definitely pegs that guy she's with. Yes, like, I can absolutely see wow. that. Like, no doubt. You defeated the monster. Alrighty. I'll save Kurumi. Leave it to me. You're gonna touch her weird. Don't do it. Hey, wait. It's all right now. Hey, aren't you getting kind of cold? I'll warm you right up. Yeah, can you materialize her a shirt, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. It's the victim, Cotton. I am the culprit who killed me. You killed yourself? The truth is, this was a suicide. That's not even what the peacekeeper said. No. I put in the poison myself. I killed myself. Just want to do it in a flashy way. I mean, I won't say that's like impossible, but like, why <laughs> would you do that? Performer to the end. I'm so sorry. At least wait for the actual play if you want to go out with a bang. Oh, she's a mystery fan, meaning she's in the way of our investigation. Okay, so that's another interesting thing. Could she have done something herself to sabotage her own murder or help push it along? This could just be because of I. Co's murder. But, okay, yeah, 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 that's true. But th there might be some something to do with this investigation too. I really like her design. I think the most out of all the mystery phantoms we've seen. Those wings are not doing nothing for you. There is no way she's flying with those, dude. They're flapping really fast, so it doesn't look like they're moving right now. It's just like in the natural frame rate of my eyes. Yeah, like that bird video. You ever see that where the bird just looks like he's levitating in front of the camera? I think so. It's a good video. Make sure to play that ten times on screen. I will, because I'm drinking water right now. Oh, okay. Enjoy that video, everyone. How long is it? <laughs> like six seconds. Oh, okay. Like six minutes long. Oh, this is going to be a while. No, it can't be any more than 20. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. No, it wasn't a suicide. I won't let her take the blame just to end this investigation. Oh. Okay, we're what, fighting you now. <laughs> what if we just stabbed her right now with the sword? Mm. She's like, I'm the one who... <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was me. <laughs> I doubt it even do anything because this operates off of, like, mysteries, uh, yeah, you know? Yeah, know. Karen's man manor. Or what now? What is manor? Oh, my God. Lawnmower man, go away! I'm about to poison him. Who, who mows this late in the day? Do it in the morning when it's cool out. Yeah, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, two thirty-five. It's not. Either. It's it is seven twenty-eight right now. Uh, well, it's kind of cooler in the. Honestly, I'd probably mow my lawn at a similar time. That or at midnight. I don't know. I like to get it out of the way. As long as it's not wet, you know. Midnight is out of the way. <laughs> and then you're waking up all the neighbors. Oh, big whoop! You, you're gonna, gonna be do? that guy, aren't you? I don't want to have neighbors. Uh, that's fair. You don't want to have a lawn either, though. No. <laughs> Just hire some kid to do it. Karen was more tense than usual prior to the start of the performance, pacing restlessly and yelling at underclassmen. Well, if she commits suicide, that would kind of make sense. Um, her yeah. corpse, though, no external injuries, and given the circumstances, it's likely she died from drinking the poison. Okay, that also makes sense. Oh, but she couldn't have had it on her. There was no place to hide it on her outfit, and there was nothing in the actual poison vial. So yeah, so she'll probably say, like, I even used the poison vial. Yeah. And we'll be like, no, you didn't. It's okay, Karen. This was just a suicide. No. It wasn't a homicide. It's interesting to hear her talk, though. Yeah. It's She's a good actress. Don't forget that. Yeah. I wanted to die on stage. I put real poison in the vial. There you go. No, You're wrong you and stupid. That's not how that works. I wish real political debates were like this. 
<laughs> they like, go in a big arena and sword fight? No, it's like if it was like Biden and Trump. <laughs> like they each have to put on makeup and be the mystery phantom, you know? There no <laughs> While they're swinging the sword at each other. They have to dodge each other's attacks. Yeah, wouldn't that make it more interesting? They're both so old and dementia ridden that they just trip over their own feet half the <laughs> yeah, time. They, yeah, they just die. <laughs> but it's worth a shot. As a matter of fact, the vial was dry. There definitely weren't any signs of it being used. No, I'm doing a good job with the board of become. Oh! <laughs> he just trips. <laughs> so it's impossible to commit suicide using that vial. Yeah, I, I don't even listen half the time when I like d do it correctly because I I know what they yeah, is yeah. and how I arrived at that conclusion. I like the way her eyes look. Yeah, she looks like a little imp, a little cutie. Bunch of QBs now. Yeah, a bunch of Qs. Why well, it was like QB, like it was because it turned into cubes. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it? Are you gonna be helpful once? No, he won't. Halara <laughs> wasn't helpful here either. They're like, you can figure it out. She still like gave us like kind of hints though, you know. Yeah, kind of. But really, this guy's not smart there. at all. I was about to make my move. You shouldn't approach women in the mystery labyrinth. This isn't the real world. You shouldn't approach them, period. <laughs> yeah. For their sakes. You of all people to warn me about ladies. This mystery labyrinth is terrifying. Well, that's why Shinigami's here. She's the one that won't kill you. Except she probably will you. If she could, she would. If, definitely. She'd get a kick out of it. Mm-hmm. I would, too. <laughs> Not usually on the same page with her, but this time around, I very much agree. Yeah. Do you like being uh this is a, this is a weird question. Why is it impossible to have been a suicide? Okay. Do, do you like it when people like eye you up in like a ooh he look good sort of way? I do not think that has ever happened to me in a way I've noticed. Okay. Like I think if that's, I That's fair. I don't know why I asked that as like that's a thing that happens all the time. <laughs> if I knew they were, I guess, but I like okay, okay what do you think you'd feel? I'm, like, walking down the aisle of a grocery store, and, like, someone's doing that, mm -hmm. and I see them doing that, I guarantee you I'm just going to think, what the hell is their problem? Mm. If they're, like, staring at me like that. W what if they're looking at you in, like, a, he's cute? I'd probably just, like, shoot him a nice smile and keep moving. What if it was someone you thought, you thought was cute? I don't know. It's hard to say. Because, like, on one hand, it's really nice or fun to imagine a scenario. Like, I'd go up to them and seduct them with my amazingly charming blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. But in reality, it's like, what does that actually entail? Do I just go up to them and I'm like, hello? Hello. Hello. You looked at me, so I thought, well, maybe they like me, but then I, maybe I overthought a little bit, and maybe I'm overthinking it I, right I, now. I would and probably, <laughs> I would give them the opportunity to continue just to be sure. So I'd probably be like, oh, hi, or something, just as I'm walking by. Because mm -hmm. I don't think that's very weird. If you see someone looking at you and you're like, hello, as you're walking yeah. by, that's fine. Yeah. And if they want to initiate further, then boom, I said hi. They can say whatever, you know? That seems 100% fair, honestly. But I'm like not at all the type of person to just approach someone and be like, hello, I like you, or hello, I think you're cute, or hello, blah, 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 blah. For once, I'm on the same page with you. Wah, wah, wah. Like you agree in my methodology? Yeah, I think that's a fair method. Well, I mean, what know? else do you do? Do you be like, I saw you were checking me out, baby? <laughs> yeah, I don't really you know? get. I don't really get how people can just like see someone they think looks cute or something, and then just initiate something with them so easily. You know, I, I think there also is like a manner of social setting to it. Like, I think if like like I know like people go to the bar for like that exact reason. Yeah. They find someone to hook up with or find someone to find cute or to talk to or whatever, you know? Uh-huh. Like, I think... Or, like, it, the beach. Right. Like, in that case, I don't even know about the beach. I've never seen anybody at the beach who wants to talk to me. But I'm also, like, pale as all get out, so... If you're, like, a tan stud or something, it might be a different story. I'm just kind of an awkwardly shaped pale guy, so <laughs> it's like... Yeah. No one's doing that anyways. I, I do not have beach genetics in me whatsoever. Uh-huh. I could never... I hate the beach. I'm too short for anyone to come up to me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice you. <laughs> Who? I never saw that guy. <laughs> they do like a full like 90 degree look down and be like, hello down there. How Holy are you? Holy crap. Where do you come from? <laughs> Gage actually has a, some trouble like differentiating voices because he's so low that he hears everybody else at a deeper pitch. That, is that even how that works? Yeah. You ever see like giants in, uh, in, in movies? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's just because giants have deep voices. No, this is how you perceive it. 
it, it might there might be some science to that sometimes airplanes sound really well it's like don't like flies see things in like a little bit more slow motion compared to us um, so i mean if things are moving slower their voice sounds deeper maybe like you ever notice when you like slow a video maybe in down? a video editor is that how it works for actual like living things perception though I don't know. I don't even know if, like, they have enough perception to realize tone of voice at all. Yeah, flies have to, like, have... And, like, birds. They have to have, like, super quick reflexes or just see things, like, slower. I I guarantee you, like, 90% of their brain power just goes into reflexes. You ever see a bird just, like, pull off the most insane acrobatics ever? Like, flying through a chain-link fence in between, like, 15 branches that are all close together? Just, like, perfectly? And it's like, holy crap. I was driving to work the other day, and I saw a bird attacking a bald eagle. I saw a bird attacking a vulture. Well, that's a, okay. I actually watched a video about this. That's a real thing. So apparently, during the day, like eagles and stuff are very much like could not care less mm. because they're just like more passive or something. I don't know. This is according to like a YouTube short I saw, but it was presented in an educational way, so you're kind of inclined to believe it. Mm. But so I've seen that like you'll see that kind of often where small birds will just get brave and attack really big ones to get them out of there. But if that was, like, nighttime, that bird would be dead. That's fair. I couldn't tell what the one I was watching was doing. My theory was that it was trying to steal some of its feathers for, like, a nest or something. <laughs> I think it's just to ward them off. That's fair. Because, you know, it's. I saw that one time. It was, Does it work? I mean, the bald eagle was flying away. Yeah. And he looked bothered, so. Fair enough, I guess. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Even if the vial wasn't used, she still could have drank the poison herself. But the only thing Cotton drank from on stage was the shuffled glass. Even if Cotton added in the poison, there's no guarantee she'd be the one to drink it herself. It's not how someone who wanted to die would go about it. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't remember the play, so I didn't know it got shuffled. Uh, you didn't even remember it, like, period, because yeah, you were sleeping, sleeping the whole time. Hang on. Wouldn't the same be true for the culprit? If the glasses on stage were switched around, there's no guarantee the victim will take I the I think that's where the lights right? came in. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, maybe the killer wasn't aiming at Karen specifically, but just wanted either actress to die. Nah, I think they wanted Karen specifically. Just like, because she's not in that photo. Because she's not in the photo, and also because you didn't see, like, Karen Cur- messing with Warina's script or anything. You know something I thought of? Huh? When, d- so, it was established that Waruna and Karen are at each other's throats, right? I, I guess they, they don't like each other. I don't think any of them really like each other, but yeah. But did they say when that started? Because I almost vaguely, I could just be making this up, but I almost vaguely remember like them saying it was around the time of Aiko's death. I, I think everyone changed around Aiko's death because remember, Kurumi goes through and kind of like introduces all of them like, that's Karen, she's blah, 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 that's Warana, blah, 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 blah. And Yoshiko, she stepped up and became like a leader figure. Uh, current A, I don't remember what she said changed about her. I, I think Karen definitely, I, sh- I remember this. She turned more bitter and angry and just like tense all the time. Which I feel like is kind of natural if you killed someone. Yeah, if you killed someone, I could easily see that. Um, and then it almost seems like kind of obvious you would think it was Karen back then too. But it doesn't matter because she died and that's not really the investigation you're doing. No, but we'll definitely end. It. Yeah, I think Karen definitely killed Aiko. Like, I don't really have any doubts about that at yeah. this point. Hmm, I can't completely rule that out. Well, that's gotta be it. I'm a genius, even without my memories. What do you think, Shinigami? You, uh, wanna dump your master <laughs> for me? Uh... I'm not sure. Can you escort me all the way through this mystery labyrinth? Yeah, of course. I'll grab a taxi or Psych whatever taxi. to take you. Jeez. What the? Turn on the lights! The sun went out. <laughs> oh, they're swapping the poisons. Oh, no. Also, is this the death bell for Danganronpa? It's one of the bells. I don't think it's the death one. But it was definitely something. Oh, boy. I would want to parkour on those chairs. Or stools, I guess. What is this place? It looks 
like the school. Like, wouldn't that be fun to try and, and stand on? Mm hmm. Three doors? I always think that in time freeze scenes, how cool it would be to, like, jump between everything. Looks like it's up to me. There it is again. Yep, slice my neck. Thank you. Huh? Nah, come on. I want to see his reaction be, like, more used to it. Probably hurts a lot. Yeah, he. I guess he is screaming in agony. Mm-hmm. How? Whoa! This isn't okay at all. This could kill me. You're not into it? Never mind that. Look! What are the questions? How was the poison mixed into the glass? How was the poison brought to the, the theater hall? How was the poison the glass chosen? Okay, well, let's answer these right now. How was the poison mixed into the glass? It was applied to the glass. It wasn't dropped. It wasn't blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure it was just on the actual glass itself, right? That makes sense. Second question. The, how the, the matter... The matter was how they got that glass on stage, basically, right? And who applied the poison. We're thinking Yoshiko, but... I'm thinking because of the time limit, it would have had to be Yoshiko. But Because like, Kurane was up on the lights the entire time. But she sits down is the thing. Not right away. So she comes in. Okay, she, okay, let me explain. Okay. So 15 minutes in, we see her walking down the like right side of the aisle, right? Okay. We don't see where she goes after that. Briefly, like at the end of the play, by the end of the play, she is sitting down again. But she could have been gone, you know, off into the wings or something. But we, we don't see her take a seat when we see her walking. Right, we don't see her sit down. Okay. She could have gone backstage. Then never mind, that That pretty much alleviates my doubt on the time limit part. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure Yoshiko's the one that mixed the poison onto the glass. How was the poison brought to the theater hall? Yoshiko, I'm thinking... Well, she has that little bag. That's another thing that points to Yoshiko bringing it, is because she, she's the only one with the little bag. Right, so we would think eyedropper, gun, delivery. Probably. Is, I, I'm thinking the gun could very well be used as a transportation And, and then the paintbrush. I'm still very curious what that paintbrush is for. Yeah, it could either be used as like a, the time limit thing or just to apply the poison to the glass. But if that were the case, why did the paintbrush go back up into the chemistry lab again? Right. But third question, how was the poison glass chosen? That was just the lights. Because yep. Karen knew to pick the one that the lights hit first. And that was Curane. Who stole her script. That doesn't mean Kurane necessarily wrote that in there. Maybe either Yoshiko or Kurane are really good at, like, handwriting. I'm guessing Yoshiko because she was more on good terms with the prop master and probably did more prop stuff. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's where our thoughts are at at the moment. What do you mean, how done it? How done it? What? You're a master detective and you don't know? Tell me you're a how done it virgin. Mm -hmm. Ew, gross. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, uh, I know what this is. I, I was just testing Yuma since she's a trainee. Yeah, okay, the voice actor does a very good job. At yeah, yeah. Go, though. Big props well, to that yeah. guy. Did you figure it out? Uh. It's about how the crime was done, right? Yep. And once we saw. Can you guys not read or something, or what? <laughs> Route, the conclusion of the who done it should appear. And who done it is about the culprit's identity. If we figure out how the poison was applied, it'll identify the culprit. Yes. Nice. You sure know your stuff. So, which way should we go? Uh start with the first one. That's kind of what I'm more curious about. Have to explore all of them. So I'll let you pick the order, Master. I suggest we start with whatever route has the easiest answers, so we can solve it quickly. Honestly, I was kinda of thinking more along Shinigami's logic and just gonna go to that one, but yeah, we can start with the first one. I just wanna yeah, I'm just I wanna have my thing answered, you know. Oh, you short. Don't overthink it. We'll just have to take care of them one by one. We, oh, huh. we, wow. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Miss Hilara. Give me time, Johnny. I'm not reading that. I don't want to. No, 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 no. I like this one. Are you sure you want to take the? How is the poison mixed into the glass root? Don't blame me if you die. Yes. Well, if we die from it anyways, I'd rather get it out of the way. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, this so looks we're cool. Solve the mystery hmm. of how was the poison mixed into Walk the forward, I want to see more of this. Actually, I was thinking about that. Maybe it's wrong to think the poison was in the glass itself. 
Yeah, the peacekeeper said the same thing. What do you mean? The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Oh, right. If that's the case, it narrows down the possibilities for He's how He's still a good detective, left. though. With such limited information. Yeah. A mystery he's not bad. Never so simple. I mean, he's garnered more from the limited information than I would at this point. Oh, same. I'd be like, what? What? Hold on, hold on, what? <laughs> Alright. So, this is... Where are we going? The, through that door. Oh, thank you, Ethan. <laughs> You're welcome. Where will we the arrive best at? co-host around. Can we just do the most basic commentary ever? Wow, we're walking right now. Oh my god, there's a rock. Oh my god, you should probably run from that. <laughs> we look so calm. <laughs> just, guys, just go to the corners and let it pass. Like, it's very clearly not touching the ground there. They always do that in, like, chase scenes in these kind of, like, in, like, movies like this, you know? Mm -hmm. I told you it wasn't easy. <laughs> Stop laughing. Don't worry. Come on, concentrate. You can fly. <laughs> we can't. When was the glass set on the stage? For the play, I think it'd have to be during the play. Right. Obviously, after it's not. <laughs> oh, so they couldn't have swapped it out. Oh, so it was before the play. Okay. All right. It's this door. I know they said they set the glasses on there before the play ever started, but. Maybe that's what they meant then. The prop master I didn't really understand the, the question. The shelf an hour oh. before the performance began. Well, that's not the play. That's the shelf no behind the play. Ella. We got more boulders coming at us. Come on, concentrate, concentrate. Okay. Okay. When was the poison placed in the glass? During the play. There's okay. no way it couldn't have been. Right, because of the time limit. Right. The poison is effective for thirty. Thank God that has a time limit on it. The <laughs> poison's cup scene occurred forty-five minutes into the play, which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. Okay. I thought there'd be like five more questions there. <laughs> I think we made it through. No, there's a boulder again. No, no! I wish there there's would no be. Time to slack off. We gotta keep going. All right. So the poison trick was actually set up during the performance. So now we know for sure. The poison is effective for 30 minutes, but the duel of poison's cup scene occurred 45 Nothing minutes we didn't into the play. Which means the only way the poison could be used was during the performance. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> this was on stage the whole time, wasn't it? True. The set was fixed an hour before the play, and the glasses were already set on the shelf by then. So the culprit slipped the poison in while everyone was watching. Or the one time they couldn't. Uh, yeah, I'll admit that's kind of the trick. That's like the one part I don't really know. It's, it's just because when every, was it in there? Yeah, it was only like five seconds in between each one that the lights were dark. So you wouldn't have been able to just walk up to it and like do it, huh? you know? It's Ooh. them. Oh, so we need to select who could have done that. Well, Yoshiko. Yeah, I think Yoshiko is the only one that could have... Uh, Kurane had someone watching her the whole time. And then Warana was just on stage. See, now Warana... The, re the only reason I have that she couldn't is because she couldn't have snuck any on her. Yeah, not through her body. But there was a period of time when it was dark and she was over by the glasses. But it was only five seconds, so would she have been able to take some poison that was stocked away? And... Unless the poison was underneath the shelf again. But even then, is it five seconds? Okay, well, let's think of this. One, it's possible if these three are all in cahoots together, they could have rehearsed the action. So I feel like they could get it down to a science if they did this. I don't know. Just it... listen, listen, listen. Yoshiko is either behind stage or right next to the stage. Okay. And then Waruna is able to get that little gun real quick, put it in the glass, the poison, mm -hmm. and then hide that gun in the desk underneath. Maybe. That would make sense to implicate the two of them. But then how did the gun get back in the prop room? Well, it was a prop, and it got left in the cupboard. Everything got back in the prop room. The glasses, mostly, except for the ones that were broken and whatnot. No, the glasses didn't get put back in the prop room. Well, there were also evidence, I guess, but... Yeah, the table wasn't there. 
after a while, but when we were investigating, it still was. Hmm. So I don't think the gun could have been stored under the cabinet or something, because no one took it with them when they left, you know? Okay. If it if we're saying it was Yoshiko, because I don't think it could have been Waruna anyway, because five seconds is so little time to do something that tricky. I mean, and, all, and also it didn't seem like she was in on it anyway. Really, the only tricky thing is shooting wine into, or not wine, but poison into the wine glass. If they shot it, I don't see how else you do it, unless you just like took the top off the gun and poured it. But the glass is upside down. She she had a spare glass. Remember. I'm right. thinking it has something to do with the extra glass she had. She could poison that whenever and then set it on there. The question is, how does she set it on there? Well, I'm sure the extra Wasn't glass... was there? Hold on. The extra glass in Yoshiko's locker is a good one. Right. That right. one didn't have any poison on it. But I'm saying she could have had one of the other ones. Right. Uh, she could have taken that in that 15 minutes before the play was started, you know? Could the gun have been used to present, prevent oxidization or whatever? How would you have gotten it in the gun from the jar without the oxidation starting? I don't know. Just an idea. Yeah. Um, Anyways, uh, end the episode or continue? My, my question, here's here's the one thing we need to figure out. Maybe we can figure it out right now. Okay. Yoshiko has a glass. She just puts the poison on. And let's say she's in the wings of the stage, right? Okay. How does she get it? Like 15 minutes in, thir- 30 minutes in, whenever she decides to do this? How does she get it replaced with one of the glasses up on the stage? Waruna could have. What? Okay, here's they could here's have done the thing. a trade off, I guess. I only have one possible idea. Okay. So remember when I said at the very beginning of the play that little shelf with the glasses and the wine bottle aren't there? That could have meant it was in the wings at that point. Right. And she swapped it while it was in the wings, and then when they push it out onto the stage, it's already swapped. Yeah, that makes sense. That's my only possible guess, because that that was something I paid attention to back when I was editing. I was like, is it there at first? I don't think it is. I guess the the idea there is just, does the poison sit long enough? Would the poison sit long enough in that time frame? I think it'd still be enough, because she only gets back there 15 minutes in. Okay, yeah, yeah, that that track then, that track then. Yeah, it's, it'd have just enough time. Sorry, I, it's so hard to remember because it's been like three weeks ago at this point. I definitely have an advantage because yeah. of editing so. it. And like, I, I'm like watching the play super carefully while right. I'm editing it. Like, okay, keep an eye out for that detail. Keep an eye out for that detail. It's honestly a little cheaty, <laughs> but it's, uh, I'm not, a su- game. it's I'm not a super genius. So it kind of, I kind of need or something <laughs> yeah but okay yeah so she very easily could have swapped out the glasses before the 15 minute or after the 15 minute mark i think so because i think that cabinet was over to the side or something because then she could just take that spare glass stick it in her pack and then swap it out with the one she poisons right then and there or something. right and if she has the water gun because i assume she used the eyedropper to get it out and then used the poison that's in the eyedropper and put it in the gun. Maybe. Well, because that would—you can't touch the poison. You probably—you have to like. Probably not. <laughs> you risk it like getting on you. Like, oh no, I touched my face. Oh no. Yeah. I licked that part of my cheek. Oh no, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. You know. So. I know I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh right, the episode's <laughs> over. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Th- uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, join our Discord. Oh, oh my god. You know what? No. What? Don't, don't. I, I just remembered this. I'm so happy I did. Do you remember a few, like, okay, I was honestly probably like eight episodes ago or something now. What? I was like, comment an outro and we'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I've completely forgot about it. We, we got one outro, guys, and I, I'm going to do it. I got to find it. Oh, actually, I think I took a screenshot. I don't need to open up. If it's not the funniest thing I've ever heard, I'll be furious. Well, I don't even remember it, so... Uh, oh my god, my, my pictures on my phone are so good. Like, I'm looking from like a weird angle, like half of these are just his face. I like selfies. Where did I take this picture? Good, good. Here it is. <laughs> oh my god, it's a paragraph. That's uh, alright. Alright. <coughs> alright, I'm ready. Here, have yourself an outro. Not posting it on YouTube because it auto-removes this stuff. All right, here we go. I'm not even going to read ahead. I'm just going to do this live. 
I hope it says the N word like a hundred times in a row. <laughs> it might be. I don't remember. Yeah. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you like this episode of Rain Code, guys. Oh, abuse the mic. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rain Code, guys. Right, should I still do it? When do I stop? I, that's up to you. All right. Well, I'm not going to. Okay. If you liked this episode of Rain Code, guys, wow, wow, make sure to wow, smash wow, that wow, like wow, button. Wow, Boom, wow, kill it wow, like how wow, Shinigami wow, does, wow. and comment down below what wow, you liked wow, about wow, it, guys. Wow, wow, wow. We will make sure not to read them. At least Ethan won't. And make sure to hit that subscribe button or not. I don't. I don't care. And make sure to check out our Discord at your own risk. Recently, we just added colors uh the uh you know color rolls you can now look aesthetically pleasing or something and that's pretty much it guys see you on the next video of rain code mandatory you should pay me i could literally write you <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna pay you sorry okay well there you go thank you for leaving your uh your comment if you want us to comment another outro comment uh, yeah. an outro Say and it. if i remember i'll do it they're, they're it's like not super offensive. Right on the dime about me not reading comments, though. It's been forever since I looked. Yeah. Well, right. Anyways, goodbye. Well, they're all bad. Yeah, every time I look at the comments, <laughs> they're not praising me, so I don't really see a point in reading them. Yeah, so don't comment on this video. Just kidding. Please do. I, the comments are, like, my favorite part of doing this. Please comment. <laughs> okay, bye. I like the money. Bye.